hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm, oh my god that intro was so dramatic i am so sorry but today i'm going to show you 50 outfit ideas for when you feel like you have nothing to wear sort of like a guide or guidelines to follow so that you always have an outfit and for my first guideline is to fall back to basics so t-shirts jeans they're your best friend and as you can see in outfit number one i'm just wearing a white t-shirt black jeans sneakers and bam you have your outfit Fit. If you feel like you want to be interesting, just add on a denim jacket. As you can see, you look stylish and you've got your life together. It just makes it look like you've put more an effort in when you have a third layer to your outfit. And in case the jacket is too heavy, you can go for a light flannel. It serves the same purpose, looks cute, makes it look like you have an effort in. And one trick is to always roll up your sleeves. It actually makes you look better than normal. Trust me, it works. And in case you're super stylish like me, you're gonna tie a knot at the front. And this adds something to look at in your outfit, which makes it more interesting. With my fourth outfit, still following the rules of basics, I am working in an oversized blazer. And my sleeves don't stay up with this one, so a trick is to put in hair ties and your sleeves will stay up the entire time you're welcome but as you can see throwing a blazer on top of a very casual outfit makes it look super elegant and you can actually wear this to a meeting and no one will know you're wearing casual stuff because you have a blazer and for outfit number five i switched out the black jeans for blue jeans with some pearl details and the pearls just add an interesting element to this outfit without trying too hard it's still casual but it looks super cool and of course a denim jacket will seal the deal so add on your denim wear it off shoulder like the cool kids and you have your outfit for my seventh outfit, working in that oversized blazer again, you're gonna see it a lot in this video. I'm just making a super casual outfit look more official by adding heels, but it's jeans and a t-shirt at the end of the day with a blazer and look at how elegant and classy it looks. For outfit number eight, in case you're leaving the office in a hurry, switch out your official pants for some jeans, tuck in your shirt to one side, roll up your sleeves and you have your outfit. For number 9, obviously the little black dress is a staple in every girl's wardrobe, you should have it. Look at how chic it looks with just sneakers, this is beautiful. And in case you want to add something to it, tie a flannel around your waist. It draws attention to your waist, cinches it in a bit more and makes it look interesting. In case you're super cool, throw on a denim jacket on top of everything. And trust me, I know it feels like it's a bit too much, but it actually looks quite good in my opinion. But in case the flannel is too much, ditch it and have the denim jacket and your dress, sneakers, you're good to go. For this outfit, just have a graphic tee, some jeans, sneakers, and you're good to go. My second guideline is to play with oversized clothes and as you can see this blazer is going to be appearing a lot in today's video but I just rolled the sleeves on top of a very casual outfit. This blazer looks amazing and I just love how much a blazer elevates a look. You should have a blazer in case you don't have one yet. And for this outfit this is an oversized shirt with a belt around the waist just to cinch in my waist a bit and some pink sneakers. You can add a denim jacket, whatever jacket you want to this outfit and you are ready for dinner or whatever you're going to I wouldn't wear this to dinner but you can if you want to and in case a belt is not right up your alley you can just tie your denim jacket around your waist and you have a makeshift belt also this helps if your shirt is quite short it will hide everything such that no one will be seeing your bum for number 18, as you can see, I'm working with all oversized elements. So I think the oversized t-shirt with the oversized blazer goes so well together. It's just interesting to look at in my opinion. And in case you want to make a casual outfit official, throw on a blazer. As you can see on top of shorts and a crop top, I am ready for the office. Okay, not really, but let's just assume that I am. And for this outfit, I've just thrown it over some dress pants and a tank top and threw on some high heels and I could actually wear this to the office. You could too. No one needs to know. For number 21, oversized blazer over black dress with some black high heels and you're ready for the office. And this is all leg, like you're not showing any cleavage, you look bomb as hell. So for number 22, this sweater is quite oversized and unflattering. I genuinely don't like it, don't know why I bought it. But there's a trick you can do to make it look a bit more fitting. And for me, it's adding a belt and you just make sure you 
pick up all the fabric such that the belt is covered and what you're going to get is a cropped sweater kind of of course I rolled up the sleeves because they are obviously oversized and just to add some interest to my outfit I put it off one shoulder it's just interesting to look at but as you can see it's so beautiful it's such a beautiful combination with a black dress and I think this is super cute for my next guideline it's to wear your clothes differently so you know how your t-shirt is a t-shirt blah 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 you can make your dress a t-shirt it's going to take a lot of skill to tuck in all that fabric into your jeans but trust me it will look good at the end of the day it helps if your dress is not super long that way you don't have a lot of fabric to hide and I just threw on a denim jacket just to hide any lumps at the back in case they were there but as you can see no one could know that this is a dress it's super cute I'm wearing the same dress here with a pair of blue jeans and a blazer and I am ready to go in my next outfit, I'm wearing the same dress with a pair of blue jeans but I decided to throw a flannel on top of everything and have white sneakers. As you can see, you can make a dress into so many things, mostly a top. Here I'm wearing the dress with a skater skirt. Super cute. I really love this look. I wear this a lot more than I should to be honest. And with the same dress, oh my god, do you know how hard it is to get a shirt over your face when you have makeup? Oh, struggles, relatable, huh? Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm throwing on the white t-shirt on top of this dress. That way the dress looks more like a skirt and I think it looks so interesting, especially when you tie a knot on the shirt. That way there's some interest to the outfit, there's some interest, that way there's some element of stylishness to the outfit and this is super cute you genuinely wouldn't be able to tell that that's a dress if you looked at it for my next trick this actually takes a bit of practice and time as you can see but it's just twisting your top such that you have a crop top that's sort of like a tie front if that makes sense this will not budge i've worn my shirt like this a lot and i always get compliments on it and everyone asks me where i buy my t-shirts like this but i just twist them up it's a regular t-shirt just twist it up and as you can see with this skater skirt it's so pretty i love this combination so much if you've watched my what i wore in la video i wore this outfit and as you can see it looks pretty great for my next outfit this is just a regular blouse that I've tied at the front to make it into an off-shoulder crop top and you are the stylish queen with this. For outfit number 30, I'm wearing a denim jacket as a top and I know this feels kind of weird but it actually looks pretty good. For my next guideline is to layer, layer, layer. So with this white boring plain t-shirt and jeans outfit you can add a tank top on top of everything just to add another layer to your outfit and it's going to keep you warm in case you're in a cold place obviously not like winter but it will add some warmth to your outfit and if you throw on a blazer on top of that it looks super stylish and there's that white peeking through which is kind of interesting to the eye and adds a whole new dimension to your outfit if you have a dress you never wear, for example this dress I got for my birthday some time back, just throw it on top of your t-shirt and you can wear it to some occasion without it looking too occasional if that makes sense. And for your office wear, in case you want to wear a t-shirt and hide that fact, tie a tube top around your t-shirt. It just makes your t-shirt look so good in my opinion. And with this dress pants, I actually think this outfit looks pretty good. For number 35, still following the same rule, add a tank top on top of your t-shirt. As you can see, just find tops that you can layer. And if you're working with winter season, you can make this like your go-to style. Like pieces you'd wear in summer, you can wear them in colder seasons. Just layer them up and you'll be fine. For number 36, I wasn't sure about this layering but it actually turned out pretty good and I wore this striped turtleneck under this wrap dress. I love this wrap dress on its own but when it's too cold to wear it on its own you can just add a layer. Even if it's not cold, if you do this you don't need to wear a sweater on top of everything. For number 37, I'm wearing a cropped hoodie with a denim jacket, some jeans and some sneakers. As you can see, layering the hoodie with the denim jacket looks super cool. And in case you want to be cooler, add a flannel and a denim jacket to your outfit. The flannel picking through makes it look stylish and adds an interest to your outfit, an interesting element. I keep saying that. 
but I feel like the red peeking through looks really cute. So my next guideline is to add a pop of color. Don't shy from the colors. As you can see, I went all in with this orange and blue ensemble and I like how it looks. I tied the shirt at the front just to make it a bit more fitting. And for the next outfit, I'm wearing all white with a pop of green. You can do this with all white and wear brown instead as I'm doing with this velvet jacket. I love this jacket by the way, it's my favorite. And for this outfit, I'm doing all black with a pop of red. So as you can see, just add a pop of color to a basic outfit. Here I'm doing all black with a pop of blue. It just adds an interesting element to your outfit fit and makes it super cute as you can see all black with a pop of pink with the shoes and the sweater this chanel sweater feels so soft i love it so much but as you can see the pop of color the theme is quite easy to follow just get one color and then throw on another color on top of it this all white ensemble with the red looks pretty cute too and this is the same skater skirt with the dress from earlier and i'm wearing a denim jacket on top of it this time and it looks super cute for my last and final guideline is to belt it so in case you feel like your outfit is lacking something, just belt it. Here I'm wearing a black dress with the oversized blazer and I just belted it at the waist. With some high heels, you look ready to take on the day. At the office, you can wear this and the belt just adds an interesting element. How many times have I said that in this video? I am so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the belt just adds this element to your outfit and in case you want to go out, obviously you cannot wear this to the office. Maybe you can, it's all up to you. But you you can wear your blazer without anything underneath, belt it and you have a going out outfit. And for outfit number 49, I'm doing this very oversized shirt. I'm belting it just to add some cinching in at the waist. You obviously want it to look a bit more form fitting. With some high heels, I am ready to go. And you wouldn't be able to tell that this is a basic jeans and t-shirt outfit, just elevated with an oversized shirt and a belt. For the last and final outfit, I wanted to show you how you can make a casual outfit a bit formal. And this is a graphic tee from earlier with some jeans. My blazer is belted, some high heels, and I'm ready to take on the world. That way over was so long i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i need to go get a glass of something because your girl is thirsty af after that but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and that i'll catch you in my next one until then bye